Let's test this thing. This was specifically built to be a tennis ball launcher. And I talked about fuels in the last build video, but now it's time to test them because this thing looks really cool and I need to see which fuel is gonna look as cool as this does. Let's see which one makes the biggest flame. In the third build video, I talked about how to paint tennis balls into cannonballs. But in this part of the test, we're gonna use unpainted so that you can see them against this black background. All these different fuels have different stoichiometric ratios. You spray it in there and you just hope that it's gonna go off. I'm not gonna calculate it down to moles to see which one is the best ratio because then I'd have to measure everything out and put it in the can and it's gonna be a pain in the butt. This is to see which one is the easiest to get the biggest flame out of. Let's try the first one. Carburetor cleaner is a typical fuel. It's a mix of fuels. All of them are very volatile. Let's see how this one does. <laughs> I feel like that wasn't terribly powerful. That was really loud though. We're fighting the light. We have to film this right at dusk so that we can be able to see the flames clearly from all the different fuels. Second fuel test is butane. <laughs> that was a pretty loud bark. Next is engine starting fluid. Oh wait, that's too far. Yes, it did. Hmm. I'll just blow on it and see if that helps. Take two. I mean, ether is made so that you can start your car when it's cold, if it's old and it's carbureted, like my truck is. But uh, I don't know what its stoichiometric range is. I don't know if I put too little or too much in there. It isn't terribly energy dense. Diesel's on one end of very energy dense and alcohols like ether are on the other. So maybe I need more. That is plenty. If I was low before, I'm not now. Whoa! I need far more ether because it's not as chemically dense as the other stuff that I've used to this point. That was loud. <laughs> and it shot so hard, it actually ripped the cardboard. None of the other ones have done that. They've dented it, but they didn't rip it like that one did. Heat is methanol. Methanol dissolves boric acid and boric acid burns green. So this should have a green flame coming out of it. It's another alcohol, so it's not terribly energy dense. Let's see if I can get this to go off. Ooh, oh man. Let's try a little bit more with a careful or pour. All right. Three, two, one. I did put a lot of it in there, so blow on it a little bit. That always helps. I can't get the methanol to go off, so I'm gonna make sure it actually burns. I'm just gonna light it, and then I'm gonna put it right out again. Yeah, it burns. It doesn't burn very well, but it is green. Methanol's a no-go. Next is gasoline. Good old gasoline. This is more chemically dense than the other ones as far as energy goes. It would have been really cool to get a giant green flame out of the cannon with that methanol. The only gas that I had is mixed with two-stroke oil, but that shouldn't affect it. So we're gonna start with half a milliliter because it's chemically dense. Nothing. Maybe that's not enough gasoline. I'll put another half a cc in. See what happens. I didn't think it would take very much gas, but maybe it takes more than I thought. Double what's in there, throw another CC in. Nothing. <laughs> Might need a chamber fan for gasoline because it is a very heavy vapor and it settles. And once it settles, it's difficult to combust because you have a very small layer of stoichiometric ratio. Let's just go for it. Throw what's left in there. So much for scientific process. Here we go. If it's that hard to get gasoline to combust, 
Is it worth trying to use it? It might also be too cold to get the gas to go off because it's not burning very well inside the chamber. Propane. This one's easy. This torch mixes the propane with atmosphere in the correct ratio for it to completely burn. The noise that that made. <laughs> like I said, these holes make sure that it's mixed stoichiometrically. But if some of them are blocked, it's not perfectly stoichiometric anymore. It's running rich, which it won't even fire now. So once you cover them up, there's not enough oxygen. That should give me a bigger flame out of the end of the barrel. Basically, this is just a rich propane mixture. So it should go off anyway, but I should get a big flame out of the end. I think that was better than it was originally. <laughs> and that ball buried. <laughs> this isn't just one sheet of cardboard. There's multiple sheets of cardboard and multiple sheets of foam. There's no way a tennis ball is gonna go through all of this because all of it absorbs the energy as it comes in. We're being safe. We know propane works really well, and it's the easiest one to test. It's absolutely obvious from the noise this thing makes when it goes off. But I want to see if I can make the flame huge, so I'm going to put a tiny amount of gas in a cup right behind the tennis ball, and then set it off with the propane and see if it knocks the gas out the end of the barrel and makes a huge flame from it. Hoping for that fireball. This is the main reason I brought the fire extinguisher. I don't want to melt my cannon that's made of plastic. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make sure it's not on fire inside the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta wait till tomorrow morning to do the rest of the testing. I'll see you right about now. It's snowing now, but I get to test it for distance. I'd say that's pretty good. <laughs> but will it break glass? And I put a laser sight on it. <laughs> yeah, it'll break glass. <laughs> Now it's time to get this thing out in the wasteland, see what it can really do. <gasps> oh look, an evil wasteland watermelon. Yes! Wasteland watermelons don't stand a chance. <laughs> Dude, that was insane. Holy cow. Hey, look, it's my dummy Edgar from all of my other Fallout videos. You ready, Edgar? <laughs> Edgar's taken some abuse in his day, but this might be the worst. Yeah, <sighs> I got you, buddy. <sighs> no. Oh no, here it is, never mind. You're good. I wonder what other foes I'll find out here in the wasteland. Oh look, a death claw. My printer ran out of ink. The production budget isn't that high here at Jarrus of All, but you can help out by donating a dollar a month on Patreon, and you'll get access to extra content like this. 
Ah, that doesn't even matter. I was gonna say that's interesting, but nobody f cares except for me. And you'll get your name on the table. And you'll get the 3D files from the Canon that I made. It's only a dollar a month. Link in the description. <laughs> yes! I got sprayed. Oh look, a super mutant. Die, super mutant. <laughs> yes, <laughs> one shot kill. <laughs> You know, cannonballs sure are hard to come by out here in the wasteland. I wonder what else this thing can shoot. Oh look, a potato. I had to wrap rags around the potato to make a sabo because I couldn't find a potato big enough to fit a four inch bore in the cannon. It's super cold out here and I don't have any clothes on under this thing. Look what else I found to shoot. A tomato, an onion, a grapefruit, and an apple. Grapefruit. <laughs> oh man, turned to nothing. It's gone. Tomato time. It just doesn't get old. <laughs> that splatter is fantastic. <clears throat> Onion. <laughs> that was loud. Oh, that smells really bad. Why does that not smell like an onion? That smells really bad. I, I literally, I can't even see a piece of onion. Oh wait, there's some. <laughs> Most of it's mush like this. Apple, last one. I missed! <laughs> Well, that was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Sub if you did, and I'll see you next Sunday.